And a good Monday morning to you. Craig Melvin here. We, we just laid out how states across this country are, are slowly reopening. But how do you scale up that reopening safely as Americans search for solutions? We're getting an exclusive look this morning at some technology that could play could play quite the role in restarting our country again. I want to bring in Vicki Wynn, NBC News investigative uh, and consumer correspondent. Uh, Vicki, tell us a little bit more about uh, this, how this fascinating new technology, how it actually works. Yeah, Craig, it's really interesting. The question on all of our minds right now is when will America reopen and what's it going to look like? So this company giving us a glimpse into what the new normal could be it's a device that's designed to screen hundreds of people an hour for signs of illness. As the debate over when to reopen and restart the country rages, more questions. What will our lives look like? Can fans gather at sporting events, theaters? What about busy workplaces? Some, including New York City's mayor, say part of the new normal should involve health screenings. The important thing to recognize with the temperature checks, they absolutely have a role to play. This device may play a role in getting the country going again. It's called the Symptom Sense Medical Evaluation Gateway. The manufacturer says it can screen up to 600 people an hour for signs of illness. Company CEO Derek Peterson showed me how the technology works at their lab on Long Island, New York. Okay, Vicki, come on through. Okay. As you walk through, Face this way and put your feet on the yellow pads. As I walk in, Peterson says this sensor uses ultrasound to measure my height so the machine can adjust. Now we're going to calculate your body temperature and we're also going to look at your heart rate, resting heart rate, and oxygen level by this sensor right directly aimed at your chest area. In less than 10 seconds, this screen tells the operator my external temperature, respiration rate, blood oxygen level, and heart rate. So you're looking at these vital signs. What can that actually tell you about someone's health? Through our combination of looking at these four vitals, we could tell if somebody's well or not well. Peterson says because this is not a medical device, it doesn't require FDA approval. The machine doesn't collect data, and he says the technology to measure these vital signs is non-invasive. We're using a technology called millimeter wave technology to be able to scan the body for respiration rate and heart rate. We're also using our own proprietary technology for determining temperature. We validate against known equipment in the industry that can verify what we're doing. Let's be clear, this cannot tell me if I have coronavirus. Absolutely not. I can't tell you if you have the coronavirus, but what I can tell you is that you're may be sick. It might detect vital sign differences that are consistent with coronavirus, but up to 50% of people with coronavirus are going to have normal vital signs, no symptoms whatsoever. NBC so News medical correspondent Dr. John Torres says this device is not a magic solution to detecting coronavirus. How important are these vital signs to determining a baseline if someone may or may not be ill? Vital signs are one tool we use to look to see if somebody is sick, but it's not the only tool. People with normal vital signs, if they have other complaints, they still might have a disease. What do you say to critics who say this might give people a false sense of security about whether or not they're healthy? It's just another tool trying to help people understand in a quick way if they're healthy or not. This is not the end, no behold. But who decides what to do with this data? Tech ethicist David Polgar says it will be up to the organizations that use this technology to figure out how they respond. Do you think tools like this are helpful and do you think they will become commonplace? Yes, I do think that they, they can be helpful. We are in an extraordinary situation where I think a lot of people are looking at how do we balance our individual freedoms with more of a collective need for, for society. Craig, as for the symptom sense, the company says it has received interest from thousands of com companies, as well as governments, even major league sports. They're working to try to incorporate metal detectors, so this can be an all-in-one screening tool. The Greek government is set to deploy these devices soon. They're looking at shipping these out in the next month or so. Craig? All right. Uh, fascinating, to say the least. Vicky Wynn. Vicky, thank you.